It has been 100 days since this happened right here. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh my gosh. It is the black version. Very cool. Okay, okay. <laughs> Wait. It, it's gonna fold. <sighs> Calm down. All right. So, just give me a second. Yes, that was me going crazy over receiving my Samsung Galaxy Fold. And guess what? I'm still just as crazy for this phone. So for my 100 days, I was going to do a review over my last 100 days, but I got to looking at the comment section on my other video, and I thought what I would do instead is put together a Q&A of the most asked questions that I get about the Galaxy Fold. So this video is going to be a quick answering of those questions that I get asked most frequently. So let's get it started. If this is your first time here and you're interested in the Galaxy Fold, I do have another video talking about the durability. I will post that at the end of the video. But when it comes to durability, that is one question that is most asked and I'm not gonna get really into specifics for this video, but I will let you know I have had zero issues with the Galaxy Fold over the last 100 days. I have used it in extreme environments, uh, in construction, lots of dust everywhere, no water, no moisture, obviously, because it doesn't have an IP rating, but I don't want to chance that. And I really don't even do that with my other phones, so that isn't really an issue for me. But zero issues, no screen issues, no nothing. So take that for what it's worth. It is a very durable phone. We're gonna start with the most asked question that I get about the Galaxy Fold. And I'm going to use one of the most recent posts uh, from Twitter that I got this question on. The most asked question is about the crease. As you can see here, he says, how's the crease coming along? Does it still distract you? So I think that's kind of funny. The most asked question I get is how do you deal with the crease? How is the crease coming along? Is it still holding up? Uh, is it still a distraction? I could never own a phone with a crease. How do you put up with that? And the funny thing is, is before quarantine lockdown, I was able to have my phone and be around people uh, on the job site and things like that. And the first thing I would do is I would walk up to them and I would say, here, open it up. And when they took the phone and opened it and it was facing them, they would be like, oh, okay, I see. And then they would figure it out that if you're looking directly at the phone, you can't see the crease. It disappears with the backlight of the phone. Now, if you look at it from the side, you will definitely see the crease. But typically when you're, the reason I hand it to them and have them open it, it's kind of like a book. They're gonna open it flat, straight with their face, and they're gonna notice that they don't see the crease. So if that's a concern for you, uh, it really shouldn't be. It, it does disappear, and after a minute of use, you don't even know that there's a crease there. And as far as touching it with your finger when you're swiping, typically when it's in your hand, uh, whether it's your left hand or your right hand, you're swiping with your thumb and your thumb doesn't meet the middle of the phone when you're doing that swiping. So you don't even touch it. Uh, if you happen to be holding it like a tablet and swiping long ways with your finger, sure you'll feel it, but it's not really a distraction. So don't let that concern you too much. So the next question, and I thought about not even bringing this up, but at the same time, it is often asked, and that is how much did you pay for the phone or how much can I get it for if I go buy it? So first off, if you buy it from the Samsung website, it is still $2,000 and you do get the case that it comes with. You get the Galaxy Buds that it comes with and the box, nice box and presentation and everything else. Now at the, record, at the time of this recording on Amazon, they do offer a renewed, Amazon renewed Galaxy Fold and you can pick that up for $1,200, which is exactly what I paid for mine. However, with the Amazon Renewed, you do get a Amazon Renewed warranty. 
and so with that Amazon renewed warranty it gives you the confidence that if you buy it and it's you know something's wrong with it or whatever you can send it back so I just thought I'd throw that out there I will throw a link in the description below so that if you want the Amazon renewed version you'll be able to find it so the next question I get often is how do you deal with the, such a small screen on the front okay so real quick let me give you an, a comparison the new iPhone SE that has been released here recently in 2020 has a 4.7 inch screen the screen on the front of the Galaxy Fold is a 4.6 inch screen see the screen size isn't what people are complaining about people are complaining about the width of the screen itself see size wise you've got almost the same exact real estate as an iPhone SE and right now the iPhone SE is getting a lot of praise because it is a smaller form factor but it is a slight bit wider on the you know the width of the screen if you're using the screen on the front for typing it is a little difficult I think the front screen was meant to be a one-handed screen and that's it because as you can see my thumbs both together cover the width of the screen now I can type on it but it's not the most comfortable now if you do use the swipe typing that actually works super well mostly I use the front screen for my maps quick viewing of Instagram or Twitter and if I'm scrolling through and I see something I need to see bigger I'll open the phone up and then I'll take a look at it that way but most of the time it's my always on display it's my maps for my vehicle uh, a couple other things that I do with that front screen and I don't do a lot of typing on it but it is good for one-handed use and when the phone is closed oh my gosh there is no better phone I mean you put it up to your ear and it almost it reminds me of my old Nokia that I had put it up to your ear and it would fit just right so the front screen on this is definitely narrow but it's not useless so I hope that answers your question uh, the next question I've got is about the battery life the battery life on this thing is questioned basically because how big the screen is uh, and people are thinking okay with that big of a screen you know that thing's got to chew through the battery I don't know how they did it but this thing gets a minimum of seven hours a day screen on time and that's whether I'm watching video playing games cruising the internet downloading stuff I, I I don't know how it works but it gets a minimum of seven hours of screen on time I think I've gotten up to 10 hours uh, without having to charge it of screen on time I don't remember what I was doing that day but it definitely must have been a light load but 10 hours was my max uh, but nothing less than seven so if if you need that screen on time I would not worry about this phone at all it will get you through the day another question I get is do they offer any cases and yes they do have cases for the phone the phone actually comes with its own case and the when you get it out of the box however that phone case does not protect the camera bump that's on the back it still leaves it exposed so there are a few case choices out there uh, currently I am rocking the Spigen thin fit um, it works out pretty well I, I don't like it adding a lot of bulk to it but I definitely want that camera bump protected on the back side and they do offer cases that have full body protection so that it protects the hinge in the back this particular case does not protect the hinge but it suffices for me because uh, for everything that I'm doing and everything that I put this thing through I have no issues with leaving the hinge exposed something else that comes up is DeX does the Galaxy Fold have the ability to use DeX from Samsung and yes through a software update it did get the ability to use DeX I have personally not got to use it yet I am in the process of doing a test on that uh, to where I can give you an actual review for it but it does have the ability to use DeX something else that's brought up a lot is about the notch the notch on the inside of the phone is up in the upper right hand corner when you're holding it portrait mode and 
you know, it was kind of funny because I didn't even notice the notch until somebody brought it up. Because they were saying, well, how's, how's that big giant notch? And I'm like, what are you talking about? And I had to open the phone and look at it. And it's kind of funny because when you're looking at most apps, the notch itself, it blends in with the top. As you can see here in the video, most apps will keep that area as a notification center and then it's just kind of part of that, like it is on most other phones. The only time you really get to see the notch and that it comes into play is when you're watching a video. Now, if you're watching video in portrait mode, it still doesn't come into play because it keeps the video below that line. However, if you turn the phone horizontal into landscape mode, then a little bit of the notch does take up part of the video. But I can't understand how that could be a complaint when you've got these giant black bars above and below the video and they're worried about this little tiny corner being cut out with the notch. The notch is really not an issue when it comes to this phone. Uh, most of the time I'm not even viewing video in horizontal landscape mode because it's big enough to view the other way. So that's it for the notch. All right, so those are the most frequently asked questions that I get and I hope that maybe if you had one of those questions that it got answered and if it did not get answered, please leave a comment below with your question. I would be more than happy to answer your questions. Uh, I typically get back to people within a couple hours. I'm working nights right now, so if you hit me at just the wrong time, I might be sleeping during the day, but I would love to answer your questions. I love the feedback that I get from people who have the Galaxy Fold. I love talking to people who want to get the Galaxy Fold. I love sharing everything about this phone. It is so exciting. It's just one of those things that makes you excited about tech. And uh, I will tell you this one thing. Every creator that I have seen online who has gotten a hold of a Galaxy Fold has posted at one time or another that they miss their Fold. Because a reviewer typically will get a phone, they'll review the phone, and then they give away the phone or sell it or return it or something like that, right? Luckily, I have the luxury of doing whatever I want because yes, I will review phones and I will review all kinds of other stuff pertaining to contractors, but I get to hold on to this and I get to keep it. And there ain't no way I'm letting it go. Maybe Fold 2, if it actually is everything that it is said to be, then the Fold 2 will pull me away from this, but I will still keep this. This will go in my collection as something that you know got me super excited. I still have my very first iPhone that I had and I will keep this phone too in my collection. So I hope you're excited about the Fold 2 coming up. Please leave comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, maybe share it. Until next time, stay safe.